Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here, and in this video, let's cover the symptoms of vitamin E toxicity. In other words, you know, how would you know if you're taking too much? I'll also cover what the proper dosage is for supplementing and, you know, also why that's important. Um, also, what form of vitamin E is best and, you know, what forms to avoid. All right, so, you know, like other fat-soluble vitamins, if you take more vitamin E than your body needs, it gets stored in your body. You know, and although it's key for anti-aging and immunity and gene expression, a healthy heart and healthy skin, proper functioning eyes, extremely high doses of vitamin E, you know, taken over like a long period of time, could be dangerous for your health. Um, and what you'll notice is like symptoms of toxicity or, you know, having too much vitamin E. Now, in terms of getting enough vitamin E to maintain good health, you know, eating vitamin E rich foods is the most ideal way to do that. Uh, but for many of us, a vitamin E supplement is still going to be the best way to ensure you get enough. Um, so in supplementing, here's some guidelines. Uh, first, you know, always make sure your supplement contains natural vitamin E as opposed to the synthetic form. Um, one clue that your vitamin E supplement is synthetic is that one of the ingredients, alpha tocopherol will be listed like this. This would be the synthetic form, DL-alpha tocopherol, and that's the one you want to avoid. Um, the good one would be D-alpha tocopherol. In other words, uh, the L is the difference between the two of those. You want to avoid DL-alpha. Um, another thing to be aware of is that most vitamin E supplements, even when they use the natural form of alpha tocopherol, are missing the other seven components of vitamin E. So um, here are all eight. You've got the tocopherols, alpha, beta, delta, gamma, and then you have the tocotrienols, alpha, beta, delta, gamma. Um, so, you know, uh, don't supplement using a vitamin E brand, you know, that only provides alpha tocopherol. Uh, you should take, you know, a vitamin E supplement that provides all eight. Um, the truth is vitamin E toxicity is like really rare. You know, uh, but it's also true that if you, you know, take extremely large doses over a long period of time, you eventually won't feel well. You know, so let's look what that would look like. Um, a high level of vitamin E is considered to be like a daily dose of 400 IUs or more. Um, more than 400 IUs, you know, should really only be done under a doctor's supervision. You know, and since, you know, we can assume that you'll get at least some vitamin E from your diet, you know, I really don't recommend ever supplementing with more than 300 IU per day, you know, unless you're working with your doctor. Um, for most adults, you'll, you know, you'll want to take a supplement that gives you between like 150 and 200 IUs. Um, and in milligrams, that would be between 100 and 134 milligrams. Um, the conversion factor is, is one IU equals about 0.67 milligrams for the, for the natural form of vitamin E. Um, the conversion factor is different for synthetic vitamin E. You know, but you shouldn't be taking that, that anyway. So uh, my recommendation for uh, synthetic form is zero. Uh, all right, so um, bleeding is the most significant uh, risk with vitamin E toxicity. And the reason for that, you know, is that toxic levels of vitamin E, what happens is that it interferes with your body's ability to form clots. Um, and the risk is most likely if you combine excess vitamin E with blood thinning medication. Um, or, you know, if you're an adult and you take like 15, uh, 1,500 IUs or more daily. Um, so let's look at some, you know, some of the other less serious symptoms of vitamin toxicity. Uh, we've got nausea and diarrhea, stomach cramps, fatigue and muscle weakness, um, headache, blurred vision, bruising, uh, bleeding, as I mentioned, and uh, lack of blood clot formation. All right. So the best way to ensure that you get the right amount of vitamin E is to eat a wide variety of healthy vegetables, you know, low glycemic fruits um, and nuts and oils, you know, which are also a great source. Um, in fact, avocados are one of the best sources of vitamin E. Uh, and if you take a vitamin E supplement, make sure to use a supplement that is natural and contains all eight of the compounds, the four tocotrienols and the four uh, tocopherols. Uh, if you want to see what the label should look like, go to bodymanual.com and check out the product called Full Spectrum Vitamin E. Uh, and in the case of like pregnancy or if you're on a blood thinner, you know, make sure you check with your doctor to coordinate before you start uh, the vitamin E supplement. 
All right, so with that said, hopefully I've not scared you off because vitamin E is one of the most powerful antioxidants and it's really a key to anti-aging. In fact, you know, it's, it's a nutrient that I take every day. All right, so if you found this video helpful, please share it. And if you didn't already, make sure you click below to, to uh, subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you again soon.